Hey guys, welcome. I am here to try to provide you with a step-by-step -step tutorial for the cowhide tumbler. Hope you guys enjoy. This particular tumbler, I chose Pure White, Kiki, and Blue Lagoon. Just remember when applying a clear water slide, you want to make sure you're using a white or light colored glitter. I really like this brand of water slide. It's Kodiak, available on Amazon, and you can get it in clear or white paper. You can find your images on Google, um, Etsy, any other um, sites that sell water slide images. I, I actually chose mine off of Etsy. It was uh, a print that I liked, so I went ahead and went with it, and I think it was like $1.55. If you have not done water slides before, make sure you are sealing them. If you do not properly seal your water slide, once you lay your image in the water, all the ink will start to peel off of your paper or it will rub off. I do mine three times. I spray it, dry, spray, dry, and spray again. Once you have your water slides properly sealed, you wanna go ahead and cut your images out and then start applying them piece by piece. Lay them in a, um, a bowl of water, somewhat warm, and then once the images start to move off of the backing, they are safe to place onto your cup. Be very gentle, they can tear, and make sure you're squeegeeing the water out from underneath the image. I prefer these silicone brushes when squeegeeing out water from my water slides. If you do not have them, you can also use a coffee filter, which works great as well. But the brushes definitely are much easier to work with. Once your cup is dry and there's no more water left underneath your water slide, I like to apply a layer of quick coat. It's a good barrier between your images and your epoxy helps you from getting fish eyes or anything else that contaminate um, your resin when applying it. Apply a good layer of epoxy. Then you want to take your glitter and start blending your glitter from the bottom up over the edges of your water slide so that your lines of the water slide are somewhat hidden. I like to use a little bit of fine glitter and a little bit of chunky glitter. Once you have blended and your epoxy is dry, you can then finish off with the final layer. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to message or drop them in the comments. Thank you.